Can you see it? I need to do a drone shot so you guys can see it. is go pick out some tile for our shed roof. We already have some tile that matches our house, our gloriously blue house, but we need to go get a little bit more. So we're gonna see if we can match it and Kevin just hooked up the trailer and we're ready to go. Let's do this. able to get a lot of the roof done and it's looking pretty snazzy you guys check it out so in the drone shot you probably saw uh, how it looked if I scoot back over here you can see it a bit better it looks pretty good I'm excited about it so Kevin's been working on the roof and then the kids and I have been doing a bunch of touch-up paint there was a bunch of uh, little tr pieces of trim that needed to be painted then we also painted under here because this all hadn't been painted so we did that and that's about it for the most part all the trim is completed there it is guys there it is and I know the sidewalk does not match up we initially were gonna put the door right here but then we decided last minute to instead put the door in the center so we're gonna pour a little piece of concrete here as kind of a porch it'll all look fine <laughs> it looks off right now but it looks great, right? We're excited about it. All the trim's done, all the painting's done. We just need to wake up tomorrow and finish the last bit of roof. And then this guy is done. And then comes the actual hard part because now we have to build shelves. We have to organize all this goodness behind us and figure out where everything goes. And you're probably tired of me talking about the shed and talking about organ organizing everything, but you know, projects just take a long time. They just do. You have to do the little piece of trim and things take longer than you think. And then, you know, you go and get the shingles and it's the wrong kind and there's just so many problems. But the good thing is that we only have to do this once, right guys, once. And then this shed is done. Unless it burns down, then we'd have to do it again. I'm really excited because my bins that I got for my little sports uh, toy outside toys thing is coming this next week so I'll be able to organize a bunch of these toys and a lot of the rollerblades and things and then after that we'll just go we'll just work our way over and we'll clean everything out lay it out here in the grass and we'll figure out how it's all gonna go in that thing so that's gonna be our big thing next week to get that done also we are going to take Penny over to the breeder so you know how Mabel wasn't pregnant well we decided that maybe we just need to give it a bit of time uh, I asked a couple of my goat friends and they said you know like sometimes they have to be kept with a buck for like four months so instead of doing that 
to Mabel. <laughs> we're going to give her a bit of a break and we're gonna switch up our schedule. So Penny is gonna be bred and we know that she can get pregnant Everything will be fine. So we're gonna breed Penny, and then we'll have Penny and Doris both having winter babies. And then we'll save Mabel's breeding with Tilly. So when Tilly's old enough, we'll go ahead and throw Mabel in there. And I think it'll all work out. Just give Mabel a little bit more time to mature and be ready to be bred. Okay, so kids, we have to figure out where we wanna plant all these. I'm thinking the peas will go on the end. Which end? This end right here. Like, just like you recommended, Lydia. So we have to decide what we want to grow up the trellis. The sugar snap peas have to have a trellis. Yeah. So we're gonna do that, and then the others, uh, we'll figure it out, won't we? Okay, so I want you to plant this whole section, leaving a, kind of a line in the middle. So if you want to take a stick and draw a line right in the middle, just a little line, Me? that's where we're gonna put, the, yeah, go ahead. That's where we're gonna put the trellis for it. Perfect. 